Okay, so we are uh, now uh, focusing on tadpole, which is given by um, this diagram, which is by definition is the vacuum expectation value of phi hat of x. Uh, if you look at Z of J, then you have this contribution, which basically includes all the diagrams like this. And then you have higher point functions. And these are, uh, as we discussed before, uh, these are the quantum corrections uh, causing the classical Causing the classical oh gosh. Oh gosh. vacuum to shift. And these quantum corrections are constant due to Lorentz invariant. Because if the vacuum is Lorentz invariant, then um, uh, this will be Lorentz invariant. If you take the, uh, <clears throat> I mean, this is constant in the sense that if you take the um, uh, corresponding momentum space Green's function, that is G tilde one, then uh, the same diagram will, will have an, uh, only single one momentum and an all overall momentum uh, conserving delta function. So their P should be zero. And uh, if and uh, therefore there is a loop only and that uh, there's a loop integral. Um, so um, there is no external momentum because P equals is zero and uh, uh, that corresponds to a constant value. Um, and this effect would also, um, uh, this effect also correct uh, all these other diagrams. For example, so this effect corrects all other diagrams. For example, consider two point function or uh, J squared term in zj it is this term and then um, you can correct this by this diagram so the entire tadpole series sits on here um, in fact you can have multiple of them and so on. All these are tadpole corrections. I mean, all these are corrections to the two point functions due, due to the shift in the vacuum. And uh, so the uh, question is that uh, we, we, we are trying to deal with this uh, type of vacuum corrections uh, with the hope that we can somehow in the same theory, uh, can, we can go to an alternate version of the theory uh, where this kind of this kind of corrections will not appear, and and the diagrammatics will be much simpler uh, than currently what it is now. Um, so, 
So the characteristics, uh, the characteristic of a tadpole correction. So let me write that down here. Take any diagram. Uh, take any diagram. Um, belonging either uh, to generating functional or Green's function. Then cut a suitable internal line suitable internal line um, such that the diagram breaks into two pieces diagram breaks into two pieces a diagram d breaks into two pieces ds and x where this x has no source. It has no source for for generating functional or external point for Green's function, right? So we take any diagram, cut a line, internal line such that it breaks into two pieces where one piece X, one of those two pieces X, uh, one of these two pieces, which we call X has no source. If you can find a suitable line like that, uh, then, and then that, then X is a, uh, then X, is a tadpole correction. Example, if you take this diagram and cut the diagram here, then you are going to get these two pieces. And uh, neither is X. However, if you take this diagram and cut it here, then of course you end up getting a diagram where this one is X. So this is what I mean. If you can find an internal line such that you, you cut the internal line and the diagram breaks into two pieces such that one piece um, has no source, then that part is a tadpole correction. Now you perform this um, performing this procedure in steps 
So you you so it may not the procedure may not end here. You cut this, it breaks into two pieces. One is a one piece is x and the other piece is non-x. And then you do the same procedure, you apply the same procedure on the other part, cut an internal line, and see if you can if you can divide it into two pieces such that one piece does not have a source. For example, you can cut this second in the second step, you can cut this line, then you will get another, you will get this diagram on that pull. Um, uh, then, um, then you end up getting only uh, this one after, uh, uh, so these two, there are two that pull corrections which can be removed in two steps. So this is what I mean. So this procedure can be uh, applied in steps, um, then uh, performing this one uh, re arrives at D to DS comma X1 comma X2 and so on. There is a bunch of tadpoles and there's one such that so there's one DS such that the DS um, does not have any more tadpole correction left, does not have any more tadpole correction left. Then the DS, diagrammatically DS is exactly same as in the case of vanishing tadpole. Then diagrammatically D is, is exactly the same as in the case of vanishing tadpole, right? We just saw this example here. And, uh, you know, uh, if you do it in two steps, you end up getting a diagram like this, which is which will appear uh, in a theory where there is no tadpole. So the question that we are asking now, we will be asking now is, is there a legitimate procedure to remove tadpole corrections from all diagrams? In other words, what we are uh, asking is that when a tadpole arises in the theory, is it possible to uh, is it possible to uh, describe the theory, same theory with the same physical content, but in an alternative way, so that uh, all, none of these tadpoles arise, and the theory is described in much more simpler much more simple terms, and the answer is yes. One can again uh, look at this uh, shifted harmonic oscillator example there. Um, uh, the vacuum expectation value of X hat operator uh, is given by uh, A, mm, but then uh, one can define a shifted uh, operator X of S whose vacuum expectation, expectation value will be zero. Um, where x hat uh, s is equal to x s minus a. Similarly, um, similarly in the in the context of field theory, we have uh, this situation here. Mm, then 
it will be possible to uh, define a shifted field whose vacuum extraction value is zero, phi hat shifted is equal to phi hat minus this. So what we will do next is to, um, uh, is to uh, write path integral. We shall write path integral for phi s and, uh, and show that in the shifted theory, um, all the tadpoles cancel um, and the diagrammatics uh, looks exactly like as if there was no uh, G1. Um, now in the quantum mechanical example, uh, if you work with X hat uh, variable, then you know the uh, eigenvalues for X hat are different from eigenvalues of X hat shifted. And therefore uh, the X space is different uh, corresponding to X hat and X hat shifted. Uh, that is why uh, you have eigenfunctions uh, and um, expectation values of various X hat related operators uh, to be A dependent, but that is a fake dependence when you go into, go, go, when you go uh, um, uh, to the variables corresponding to X hat is all these A dependence go away. Similarly here, uh, this phi dependence is appearing because uh, we had a classical potential uh, and uh, the classically we chose uh, the, the uh, uh, perturbation expansion to be around uh, Carly phi equal to zero. That was the minimum of the potential, but quantum mechanically the potential got corrected and its minimum um, uh, got shifted. Uh, so, uh, but we, if we still, uh, if we still keep doing perturbation theory uh, from the same, uh, using the same variables, then we are, we are using a wrong variable. And uh, when we shift our variable to the right vacuum, uh, where the vacuum has shifted, uh, then um, you get rid of this. Uh, the tadpole diagrams are actually artifact of um, expanding around the non, uh, around the around the configuration, which is not a classical solution. Yeah, that's a wrong statement. Uh, the tadpoles are artifact of uh, of um, expanding the theory around the configuration that is not a minimum uh, of the quantum corrected potential, not the classical potential. Uh, so, quantum corrected equation of motion or quantum corrected potential. So uh, uh, once, once you find where the quantum corrected potential is and you move uh, the, uh, and you shift your uh, field, uh, uh, the, the, the uh, shift to the configuration around which you are going to do the perturbation expansion to that particular, and to the new quantum corrected solution, um, then the tadpoles will dis are supposed to disappear. That is the interpretation uh, of the result uh, of, the, of the calculation and that we are going to do in the next part.